Continuing to our breaking news team coverage now to news reporter Megan Woods was out there with protesters overnight. Megan, what did you see out there? Well, what you see behind me is what many driving through downtown Lynchburg are seeing. We've seen cars slow down, roll down their windows, take pictures, and their jaw drops. That's how shocking this is to them waking up this morning. Now, right now, we are at Adams Motor Company, and you can see the windows are busted out. There's glass shattered everywhere. There's rocks, brick on top of cars inside on the floor. Now, um, we spoke to one of the last few protesters who stuck around, a man who said he saw the vandalism on Facebook and wanted to see what was going on. Now, he says vandalism isn't the answer, but he also doesn't believe what Fifth and Federal said was okay. Now, he used to work there about a year ago, and his girlfriend still works there, but things took a turn when she showed up to her shift yesterday. But when she arrived at work and social media really got a hold of this, the phone kept ringing. And it was very, very aggressive people on the phone. And I said, you know, you have to leave, you know. So we called the owner and said, Chloe's locking it up and we're leaving. Now, him and the last few protesters left around two this morning, just a couple of hours ago. Back to you guys. Hey, Megan, you've been there for quite a while now. What does the environment feel like right now? It's just really clean up and assessing the damage. Since we've been here, we've seen street sweepers. We saw a tow truck taking away a police car where the windshield was shattered. So right now, I think people are just adjusting and seeing what's going on and how they can get it back to normal.